I am Miru Edera initially, but I identify myself as James Karanja. Um, my parents, including doctors, could not tell whether I was a male or a female. So with the benefit of doubt, they decided that I should, um, they assigned me a female role. I have grown as a girl until the age of 18 when I realized that I was wrongly assigned my gender. I went to a girls boarding school. I was the head girl. And um, until later, that is when um, I started to realize that I'm becoming more of a male than what I expected to be. That is in the process of socialization and how I was conditioned conditioned I should be um, like a girl. Um, we are there, we exist, we have been existing. The only problem has always been that people don't want to talk about this issue as sex because of people regard, you know, the sexual part is a taboo, you cannot talk about it. And that is why we have been suffering in silence. But I think time has come for us because we have suffered more than enough. We have been treated as freaks, but uh, we want to be recognized as intersex persons. We want to be given, we want to have education, just like any other normal child. We want when we go to hospital, get, you know, services, just like how you regard yourselves as normal persons. I want to go, when I go to a university or a college, I'm not discriminated. For example, as you can see, I am in the university, I am Miru Evera, but my national ID, I'm James Karanja. Assuming I commit an offense at the moment, which prison would I go? Because I would produce my birth certificate, yes, I'm Miru Evera, that is a female. I would produce my national ID card, I am James Karanja. Now, which of these would, would be used, you know, to take me to either male or female prison? So, we want this to be harmonized. We want to be recognized. We want to be, you know, treated as human beings. We want to get those services like any other child can get. We must confront uh, marginalization. We must confront exclusion. How do we consistently capture the statistics, the data of uh, intersex persons in Kenya so that it is not a one-off. Like this exercise will end, we'll provide a report to the Attorney General, Honorable Attorney General. As a commission, we have been engaged, I mean engaging with uh, the Kenya National Bureau of uh, Statistics on how best uh, we can even have uh, this captured uh, in the 2019 uh, census. And I think the conversation uh, is ongoing. But going forward, uh, we will constantly engage with the, this uh, government institution, the Kenya National Bureau of uh, uh, Statistics, so that then we are able to get data from time to time uh, with regard to the population of uh, intersex persons in the country for purposes of uh, planning. And this is an undertaking that we will uh, constantly do as a national human rights institution. In my custody, I have 11 children who I take care of. Not because I really have a lot of resources to take care of them under my foundation, known as Gama Africa Foundation, Gadoni Mushomba Africa Foundation, but because I realized that the children needed a lot of intervention. Amongst 11 of them, four of them come from families where they were totally rejected. In fact, two of them, I collected them from the marketplaces. She was sleeping out, eating out, and nobody tender to them. And out of my interactions with the families where these 11 children come from, some of them uh, suffer from a low esteem uh, condition because of lack of parental love not because the parents are not willing to love them, but even the parents are under pressure. Out of the 11 that I take care of, two have parents who have mental conditions. 
In fact, I would want the task force, because I can see you are interacting so much with the doctors, to try and do research and know whether there is any correlation between intersex and mental issues. Out of the 428 intersex children under my register, 36 of them, the mothers and the fathers have mental issues, serious mental issues. So there is some correlation between men mental issues and intersex issues that I would want probably to engage serious researchers to dig into the problem and see what's the, co the correlation. Now, the place of the intersex child in Kenya is not clearly defined. In schools, we don't have space for them. Because when you have an intersex child, you don't know which laboratory or which, which toilet this child is supposed to use. Ladies and gentlemen, these problems cannot be sorted by just mere talk. They can be sorted by people getting into boardrooms like we are, consolidating our thoughts, <coughs> sketching out our reports in terms of research, and getting into national assembly and making relevant laws that are going to protect the intersex community of Kenya. As a lawmaker, I am going to ask to humbly work with you so that you can advise us on the policies that we can entrench on the bill and the issues that we should be able to put more weight onto so that we can come up with a law that is going to be comfortable for everybody in Kenya. Hawa watu ma, wenye tunashugulika nao kiswahili wajulikana kama hunta. Wako kila mahali, Kenya nzima, dunia nzima. Lakini wanafichwa. Wanafichwa na kule wanafichwa wanaendelea kupata matatizo. Hatuwezi tukayesabu. Matatizo kuanzia kutojulikana kisheria. Matatizo ya kuchinjwa chinjwa kama bahatisha na madaktari matatizo ya kutopata haki zao kielimu unapata mtoto akizaliwa cheti cha uzazi apati na akipata imechanganyika jinsia imeko ya kike mbali sio mwanamke ye ingine yako kiume sababu sheria haijaruhusu hai na vile mheshimiwa hapa amesema ni muhimu tukiwa na sheria yenye inawamkua hao wenzetu wa Kenya wananchi ni binadamu itakuwa inasaidia sana manake hata elimu watapata haki ya elimu mbali na hayo na nafikiria pia tunajua eh, hawa tuki afya wakienda hospitali vile nimesema madaktari wanajaribu vile wawezavyo kama tutakuwa na sheria yenye inaelekeza madaktari yenye inaonesha vile wanafaa wapasuliwe kama kuna ile mahitaji yafuatiliwa kwa namna yenye inaangalia e, haki za hawa watu mbali na hayo e, e tume yenye inaitwa task force imepewa jukumu kali jukumu nzito manake lazima waende kule mashinani watambue hawa watu wawahesabu waone vile wanavyoishi wajue matatizo zao mashida zao ndio kusudi watengeneze ripoti yenye itaingia kwa e, e, ofisi ya attorney general mwenye sheria mkuu mwenye sheria ndio hatimaye labda kulingana zile uh, recommendations zenye zitakuwa kwa ile karatasi ripoti zitaenda pia kufanya haki za hawa watu ziwe afadhali kuliko vile ziko